as we take a check on the two teams for this afternoon's final. And we're starting with Cork, and once he was fit again, there was always the likelihood that John Gardner would be back in the Cork half-back line. And so it's proved with Keen O'Connor stepping back down to the subs bench. And by comparison with 12 months ago, Cork have four new starters. Brian Murphy at corner back, Jerry O'Connor in midfield, Kieran Murphy top of the right, and Brian Corcoran has returned after his three-year exile. Well, so much for Cork. In the semi-final, Kilkenny started and finished with the same 15, so it was always most likely that the selectors uh, wouldn't tamper with a winning formation. Strains and aches there may have been for Michael Cavanagh and DJ Carey, but they're both included. The newcomers from last year's final are Ken Coogan playing in midfield and young Cha, James Fitzpatrick, but he's better known as Cha Fitzpatrick, listed at right corner forward. Eadon Maxibna from Dublin will take charge of his second All-Ireland hurling final. Already it's firing up in there when extra players wanted to join the fray, like John Hoyne coming in to try and join the midfielders, but eventually it gets underway. It's the start of the 114th All-Ireland hurling final. Kilkenny won the toss, hurling from left to right in the first half. Early chance here, falling towards Eddie Brennan. Coming in, chance of a goal here, and he's put it wide. Early chance for uh, Eddie Brennan that time, a man from whom they are looking for big things this afternoon. That was a really good chance. Holding it in towards Brian Corcoran, who's not wearing the usual black helmet this afternoon. Trying to get uh, his fullback in difficulty there. Corcoran getting support here. The support's with Ben O'Connor. 20 metres out, still Ben O'Connor. It's kicked away in the end there by JJ Delaney. Not too far, only as far as Niall McCarthy. And the West referee's whistle sounds, and it's going to be a free end for Cork. It's going to be Joe Dean to hit it. Some 30 metres out. Freeze into his face because it's swirling from that hill 16 end. Straight over the bar, first score of the match. Cork go in front. Here's JJ Delaney into the corner. Bad marking this time. Henry Shefflin looks up. Should be a point here for Henry Shefflin. And it is. The teams are level. Bad marking for Cork on that occasion. Once again, a very determined and focused Kilkenny side with Eddie Brennan setting it off there towards John Hoyne. Once again, they try to make some headway. And that is lashed high, and it's over the bar. Great point. And it's Martin Comerford, the captain, who scores. Picked up here by DJ Carey. First time we've really seen him in this match, laying it off to John Hoyne. Outside to Martin Comerford, going for the point. Good score. That's a brilliant score, Jerry. Tommy Walsh nursing it to himself, the UCC student. Stopped by Joe Dean. Timmy McCarthy was available. It's Peter Barry who comes in to take possession. The hand pass, looking for somebody in support. There's a runner there, Derek Ling. Ling coming forward. Trying to do a nice, decent solo run here. Trying to get some space in which to swing the stick. He does enough. He does brilliantly. Great play by Derek Ling, the midfielder. JJ Delaney can't do anything with it. His man, Kieran Murphy. Hitting it forward towards Brian Corcoran. Timmy McCarthy with Brian Corcoran going forward. It's Brian Corcoran, Greg Rose of approval from the Cork fans as he puts it over the bar. First point from play for Cork comes after 32 minutes. Scored by Brian Corcoran. Referee having words in the middle of the field. Again, he's going to throw the ball in. Not quite sure what happened there. I think he just hit it. Here's John Gardner. The way he comes once more on his left side into space. It's too long, runs beyond everybody. Gardner! Oh dear, that shot by John Gardner was very nearly taken by Joe Dean. Out into the centre it comes to Timmy McCarthy trying to get some space for Cork. Jerry O'Connor dodging around DJ Carey in towards Timmy McCarthy again. Cork look menacing here, now McCarthy holds on, his explosive shot is good, it's over the bar, and the teams are level for the third time. It's, it's a good taken. goal chance, Now McCarthy wins this puck out well, does really well from that. And the shot is a brilliant one by McCarthy, and that's over the bar. And that's two points for Niall McCarthy, 
and it's Cork 9, Kilkenny 9. Again, it's Donald O'Kirzak. Good clearance. Way down, JJ Delaney is under it, misses it this time. It breaks loose for Kieran Murphy, advancing inside. No, Hickey is after him. Stopped, 45 metres out, it's a free to Cork. And Cork are really revved up now. Ger, how many times have we seen this before where pe the players that you don't expect, Kieran Murphy, Niall McCarthy, five times from play between them, you know, unsung heroes on other days, but really coming to the fourth day, and it happens so often in the finals. It's the second point for Ben O'Connor. But wherever you're watching it in the world, I hope you're enjoying it. It suddenly sparked into life. Now we look for a Kilkenny response. DJ has no stick. Great hand pass inside. A real opportunity. Henry Shufflin stopped on the line, scrambled there by Donald Lutkins. That was a, a great goal chance and a great save, as you say. Oh, what an opportunity for Kilkenny to have tied it up. Cork break again. Now McCarthy scrambling away here. Getting away. Lobbing it into Joe Dean, there's a slip inside by Kavanagh, regains his composure, and he goes swinging around the uh, cornerback, now the fullback, James Ryle. I've done a bit of hurling now. We saw everything there, DJ Kerry, what a hand pass, 40-yard hand pass going the wrong way, brilliant shot by Shafter, brilliant save, and then ball straight up the field, Niall McCarthy again, who's absolutely outstanding, on his way to man of the match if Cork win this game. Well, Joe Dean has had a chance to uh, dry the handle of the helmet, or handle of the stick, rather. Dry the helmet as well, but the handle of the stick, uh, they got a towel out to him quickly. Just to make absolutely sure they're now taking no chances. And right now, Cork are in the driving seat of this final, leading by four points. Four from four for Joe Dean. But look at the save once again, just a moment to go here, from Henry Shefflin. A really good stop by Donal O'Cusack. Ken Coogan feeding it down, Kilkenny needing a goal. No better team to get it if they can. Stopped by Dermot O'Sullivan. Last year it was bitter disappointment for Cork. This time Kilkenny are the ones who are putting in the late challenge. Henry Shefflin stumbling, oh, like a player on ice over there. Whatever they say about the surface, he's struggling. Stars on ice it may be, but he couldn't keep his footing there when he had a really good scoring chance. Watch again. Went all over the place. Dreadful. Yeah, Jordan. Any drop of rain on the pitch at all, we've talked about it before, it makes it very difficult. Don't look, he was again taking a short hand pass back from Dermot. So Corker complicating things. There were six points up, just want to do the simple things well and finish out the game. Brennan right across the face of goal, stopped by Dermot O'Sullivan. He drives it away down towards Joe Dean territory at top of the left. He comes way off his man out to the 65 metre line. The simple pass inside for Kenny, remember the goal he got against Wexford? It opens up for him, there's a point for the taking, and he takes it! Tom Kenny from Grenoble with his first point of the match. And the two midfielders for Cork have scored, Kenny and Jerry O'Connor. In Cork they call him the Tom and Jerry show, and right now it's looking good for the Rebels, who lead with three minutes to go by 16 points to nine. Only two players forward for Cork at this stage, but it scarcely matters. James Royal trying to pick it up. Brian Corker, the man who came back from exile. He was out for three years, but he's come back and looks like he's about to win another Ireland medal. He's the hero! Brian Corcoran has put over his second point. Is he glad he came back now, Ger? It's all over, and Cork are the champions! The All Ireland final of 2004 comes to an end, and it's won by Cork. They've won it by eight points. Some performance in the second half when they really produced the hurling. They finished in some style. Cork were bitterly disappointed last year to have lost the opportunity to take the crown. This year, they wanted to make amends, they've done so, and the final score in the All-Ireland Final at Croke Park is Cork, 17 points, Kilkenny, 9. In the presence of thousands upon thousands of Cork followers, Ben O'Connor from Newton Chandler in North Cork lifts the Liam McCarthy Cup. Cork are the champions for 2004, they go ahead of Kilkenny. Kil Cork have now won it on 29 occasions, and what a family get together there with Ben and Jerry.